Snowflake, an important cloud platform used to store data, build application, and other stuff. In many scenarios, you might find that the data is stored inside the Snowflake tables and you need to populate it inside the Power App. In this video, we will be showing how we can make that integration setup and how we can play or maybe consume the data of Snowflake tables into the Power App. In order to achieve this, we have two possible ways. The first one is where we will be dumping the data of a Snowflake table into the Dataverse and then connect our application directly to it. The other one is we will create a virtual table inside Dataverse that is just a mirror copy of the Snowflake table and then that is again connected to our Power App. So I'm just taking to my screen. So I just created a Snowflake table that is my customer table and that is stored inside my PRS POC DB. That's my database name. Okay. So let me just run this query. So let's start from the customer. I just created a very, very basic table that has just four to five rows. Okay. Now my work is I need this particular table to populate inside the power app. So I go to my power app. In order to achieve this, we are going to use the first approach where we will be dumping the Snowflake table into the Dataverse. So how we will dump the data? We'll go with the data flows. We'll go to data flows here. And then we'll go with the new data flow. We start from blank. We'll say Snowflake data create it and then it will ask you the from where you would like the data to fetch. so i need the data from the snowflake the moment i write i can see it just click on this one and then it asks me the server the warehouse name and the other details okay so i'll go to my snowflake and then I go from here and then there is a connect to a tool to Snowflake. Once you click on this one, you will find that account slash server URL. You might think that we can pass this URL and then make our connection set up and then fetch the data. But it is not always work. If you're working in the Power BI, it will definitely work. But in case of Power Apps, it might be a problem. It might cause a problem in in your place okay because this one is not mentioning anything about the location of my server okay so what i generally do i simply close this one and then i have a session details and from this session details i can see that this one so for context i have again my url and this one i have a location as well that's my center India SEO. So I'll copy this one, the whole control C, and then paste it into one of my notepad. Let's say server is this. What else I need? I need a warehouse name as well. So this particular table is stored inside my Snowflake Learning WH warehouse. Okay. So I need this one, Snowflake Learning Language. I just write Snowflake Learning Language. Okay, now we are good. We'll go back to data flow. We'll just come back here, and then here we can see it is ask. It is giving a suggestion that it should not be containing any HTTP part. So I'll just copy from this to this and then paste it here on the other side i'll just use the my warehouse name the moment i put it it is giving that i already set up a connection that that's the reason it is giving me but let's say we create a new connection i just say it as uh, pc01 that's my username okay and then gateway is none 
Snowflake kind, authentication kind is Snowflake, and then username, I'm just writing the username, and then the password. Okay, and then I hit on the next button. Now, this particular connection is good, and then it takes me to the Snowflake account. And here I can see that's my database PRS POC. I expand this one, expand this public. And here I have a customer table. I click on this transform data. And here you can see we have a preview as well. I don't need any type of a uh, manipulation on this data. Okay. So I'll simply go next. And then I need to load this to one of my data words table. Okay. So let's say load to a new table. Yes. I'll give it a name as Snowflake. As in the blue. FL. Maybe SF. Snowflake. Just put name is again. SF. Okay. And here I have a column mapping since it is the new table. So all these are text now. Click on next. Okay. And I then, then publish this one. My database data flow name is Snowflake. Okay, so that not should trigger actually. Okay, so here you can see the Snowflake data that's in publish. Now, what I need to do, I need an app. So I'll go here, expect that apps. You can use either canvas or what even whatever you would like to use okay so for the simplicity i am using the canvas one because that is easy to design so design blank template okay since my data would be stored inside my data were stable so i can use more driven as well okay so it is totally your choice now skip this part and then let's say it is still in progress in the meantime I just populate our gallery let's have this one maybe a vertical gallery okay and then since power app is directly connected to the data words so I just need to look for the table so I don't think it customer. Okay, my table is ready. Let's try. Let's see if it okay, so published now it is in progress okay so it should have the data let it connect it is taking more than the usual time okay so my table is connected with my app okay so here you can see whatever data i was having inside my snowflake is now populating inside my power app through the medium of data flow and the data words okay and the second approach is like where i where i told that we can create the mirror copy or the virtual table of the snowflake that is again a capability inside the data words but in order to achieve that you would need a app registration inside the azure that would be connected to your one site 
to the Snowflake account and another side to Vedita Mars. Okay, so we will cover that in another part of the video or maybe another video. But for the simplicity, I just use this one. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. Have a nice day.